This is an article that came out in the Atlantic, and I want to thank our queen, the radical home goddess, for bringing this to everybody's attention. And I know she was talking about the decline in insects on the West Coast. This one actually pertains to West Germany. So this should tell you that this is something that's happening worldwide. This is not just in um, isolated areas in the world. Insects are in serious trouble. In Western Germany, populations of flying insects have fallen by around 80% in the last three decades. So they also have a nature reserve over there in West Germany. And they notice that whenever they set up their traps for flying insects, the traps are now becoming more emptier, you know, each year. And they set up 1,503 traps in 27 years of work. And now they have noticed that virtually nothing is flying in Germany anymore. So um, they started doing their study uh, of insects starting in 1989 all the way up to 2016. All right. And between May and October alone, the insect population fell by 77%. Okay. So there is definitely something going on and it should be alarming because anything that kills other animals always have the potential of killing humans, you know, and, and that's why it's a good thing that the radical home goddess, she is always talking about the ocean because no matter what we may feel about insects and things like that out in nature, technically we're all connected. We really are. So, um, and, and this is creepy that something like this is happening now. No, I don't, I'm not all into the creepy crawly things, but it does set an alarm when you see populations falling. So something is definitely going on. So there have been long signs of a decline. Studies have also shown that populations of European butterflies have halved since 1990. And we all know about the bees. The honeybee colonies have fallen by 59% in North America since World War II. And populations of British moths have dropped by 30% per decade. But most of these uh, surveys focus on particular groups. So the entire, what they're saying, the entire group of flying insects are all on a very alarming decline that's going on. And many of them said they can also measure it by screens and windshields where they used to get a lot of insects quashed <laughs> on windshields when they were driving and now it's virtually not happening at all. Um, and it also speaks about California um, and how there's a decline of everything. It's like uh, flies, moths, beetles. Um, and they're now recognizing this is a huge problem. So I'm just bringing this out just to let you know this is going to impact everything. So anything that needs to be pollinated will probably eventually disappear, you know, because those plants and those vegetables and flowers all have to be pollinated in order to survive. So 80% of wild plants depend on pollination in order to survive. They have to go through a life cycle in order to reproduce new seeds and bear fruit and bear vegetables. So this is going to impact everything, including your fruit trees that need to be pollinated in order to bear fruit. So if the insects are declining, then it's going to affect the food supply. The food chain is going to be deeply impacted by all of these things. Now, you can go out there and hand pollinate. I know 
with my tomato plants that when I grow them indoors, I just hand pollinate them, you know, with a small size paintbrush. But many things, like if you have big crops outside, you need the bees and you need any type of pollinating type of insect. You know, even butterflies can pollinate certain species of flowers and even fruits. So, you know, and then you also have animals that depend on eating insects. So you're now eliminating them. So it's going to be a chain reaction to this entire thing. So that's really the point that I'm trying to make to you. But I will leave the link to this article in the description box. But this is definitely going to throw off the ecosystem. Okay. Um, and you got to also um, look at industries that heavily depend on insects that make all of their revenue off of insects, like your pesticides and your um, um, any type of bug repellents. How are you going to sell those products if there's hardly no insects? So it's going to have a domino effect. And that's the point I'm trying to make. I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Please leave your comments and subscribe. And if you can make a donation to my channel, please do. Peace, family.